Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here. Just thought I would show off this toolbox that I bought for the future tractor that I'm going to be buying for our farm. Um, one thing that I think any tractor should have on it is a good toolbox to keep, you know, some some pins and maybe some wrenches and screwdrivers, just a few odds and ends in case you ever need uh, a tool or two when you're out in the field. And I know that some tractors these days do come standard with a toolbox, but generally it's just kind of like a small plastic flimsy toolbox and it could definitely use some upgrading, although it's better than nothing. Um, but I figured that if I'm going to have a toolbox on my tractor, I want a good uh, heavy duty toolbox. So um, I actually got a gift card from somewhere, I don't remember where, but it was like a $20 Visa gift card for, for something. And I ended up using it to buy this toolbox from a company called Blaine's Farm and Fleet. They have all kinds of uh, farm related tools and, and other things on their website. And this toolbox is made by Speco. And if you look, at the box there they offer it in a few different colors this one is a 16 inch portable toolbox for tractors and mobile equipment and uh, i got the black one they obviously make it in green looks like they make it in red as well and uh, they offer it in a 20 inch version as well but i figured with the size tractor and the things that I was going to be putting in it, I would, you know, the 16 inch would be just fine. So, um, it is 16 inches long, and then I think it's six inches uh, deep and six inches tall. So, pretty good. Um, it has this latch here that you could put a lock on. Um, has a handle on the top, although you really don't need a handle uh, if it's going to be mounted on a tractor because you're not going to be carrying it anywhere unless I guess you take it off the tractor and carry it somewhere. And I've already started putting a few things in it now. Um, this I just kind of put in it to illustrate what I would put in it. This is actually a hammer that I bought to keep in my truck. Um, I have another hammer in my car and I was going to have a uh, probably put another hammer in the toolbox on the tractor. Um, there is a, a hammer at the farm, so I might just use that one or I might buy uh, just another hammer to keep in the toolbox. Um, the toolbox does come with mounting hardware, so you get a bag of you know, nuts and bolts and things like that. Um, and then it has the brackets in here. So I'm just keeping all that in here. Um, and of course you have your instructions in there. I'm just leaving all that in there. More brackets. Just leaving all that in there until I get the tractor, get the tractor and then I'll mount everything to it. Um, the only other things that I have in there so far are I went to the hardware store and picked up some half inch by three and a half inch bolts um, and nuts for uh, shear pins for the brush hog. I took the shear pin off the brush hog and this is what was on there. It was just a three and a half inch, half inch bolt with a nut with the uh, nylon insert in it. So I bought five of those and then I got a six pack of lynch pins um, I think they're 7 16 linchpins off of Amazon um, for a pretty decent price. And, you know, obviously if you have a tractor and you use three-point implements, you use these a lot and these, you know, get lost and everything. So you always want to have extras of those as well. So that's all I have to put in it so far. There are a few tools out at the farm that I'll probably put in this. Like there's a... Um, an adjustable wrench out there and like I said there's a hammer out there and there might be one or two other things out there um, but I do want to get a couple of screwdrivers to put in there just a flathead and a Phillips um, probably put a hammer in there like I said um, and I'll probably get one other wrench to put in there um, because 
uh, to take out the shear pins, the shear bolts, you want to have uh, a wrench or a socket or something on either side. So probably have, you know, at least two wrenches in there, probably two adjustable wrenches, maybe one big and one a little bit smaller. Um, and really that's probably it. Um, you don't really need a whole lot of tools on your toolbox. I know some people go overboard with the amount of things that they put in their toolbox and even just things that they put on their tractor in general. I like to keep it simple. So just a small 16 inch toolbox, um, you know, good metal heavy duty toolbox compared to like those cheap plastic ones. Um, a few pins, um, like uh, I actually have a uh, three point linkage pin, uh, you know, category one three point link pin uh, at the farm. Uh, it's sitting in the golf cart right now, I'll probably put that in here as well. Um, you know, I'll put the top link pin from the tractor, from the three-point hinge, I'll keep that in here if there's nothing on the three-point hitch. Um, just things like that is what'll go in here and uh, this will definitely come in handy. So this is really the first upgrade on a tractor that I don't even have yet. Um, and you know, once we get the tractor, I'll probably put a couple more upgrades on it as well and do videos on them. But this is the first one. That is the Speco 16 inch portable toolbox for tractors and mobile equipment from Blaine's Farm and Fleet. I believe I bought this one for $30, 30, you know, $30, $35, something like that. It wasn't that expensive really. Um, and the, you know, the 20 inch one was just a little bit more expensive than that. So really not a bad deal considering it comes with all of the mounting equipment that you need to put it on your tractor. Um, so anyway, that's it for that video. Subscribe to my channel and until next time, be safe.